Okay, I promise this is the last detour I make before I get back into the series on the channel, but I knew I needed to make a video about this game when I started playing it. So about a year ago, I posted a video about F-Zero, one of my favorite video game franchises, and more specifically about F-Zero 99 and the really, uh sour state it left me in. I know a lot of you guys didn't really agree with that video and what I talked about, both in regards to 99 and what should be next for the series. And look, that's totally fair and fine. It doesn't change the fact that I'm right and you're wrong, but that's besides the point. And besides some of the ideas I was spitballing towards the end of that video, I'm sure you might have wondered what exactly I was looking for if F-099 wasn't it. Aero GPX is exactly what I've been hoping for. So this is an indie game I've been casually following for a couple of years now, all developed by one guy. Aaron McDevitt with the soundtrack by a musician named Myrone, and artwork done by Nori Miller. The game began development at least five years ago based on the videos uploaded to Aaron's official channel, so this has been cooking for a while now. They got a Kickstarter back in 2022 to help fund the project as well, and just a few days ago on August 6th, it released to the public in early access. So I dropped everything to try the game out, give it a shot, wonder what's the quality gonna be like? Oh. Oh. Oh my god, this is perfect. So something I think you should keep in mind, this is an early access game, so only about half of the game's content is currently available with the rest still in development. So there is still some unfinished things here, like split-screen multiplayer or an extras menu. Some of the tracks still need some texturing and polish from the looks of it. But god damn, this game is absolutely everything I could have possibly wanted out of a new modern F-Zero game. Or hell, just a new futuristic arcade racing game altogether. If you've played F-Zero, you'll feel right at home. Controls are super smooth and responsive, and all of your maneuvers from F-Zero GX are here, including the side and spin attacks. Outside the traditional single-player options like Grand Prix, Time Trials, and the standard racing in practice, there's also a career mode. Outside of competing in standard races, this has also got some racing with some stipulations like one-on-one -on -one racing or tracks without boost packs instead of recharging lines on the track. All of this to say, the game looks and plays like an absolute dream. Races are breakneck fast, and one slight mess-up could send you careening off the stage, but there's also some things here to make Aero GPX its own thing. Some sections of tracks will open up into these wind tunnels where you can briefly fly for a duration. Think something like the flying sections of Sonic Racing Transform, for example. But what's really cool is that you can do this new spin maneuver that not only looks sick as hell, but if you time landing on the track right side up, you'll get a massive speed boost as well. Unlike something like F-Zero, which focused a lot on keeping that speed going through sheer force, Aero GPX has more elements to it where momentum and keeping that momentum builds up speed just as much. I haven't really delved into trying it too much, but it feels like you can take some pretty crazy shortcuts if you can take full advantage of this game's momentum. Although most of the time, though, it'll probably lead to flying off the course. So another thing that differentiates Aero GPX, your health and boost are not the same bar. They're separate here. As far as I'm aware, the only way you can really lose a race is if you lose all of your health. Flying off course only takes some of that away too, so you're not severely punished if you're having a bad time on a particular course. The risk-reward factor comes from two things. Some stages have fire hazards that will give you burn damage, take enough of this, and you'll be put into a final burn state, which makes you a hell of a lot faster, but will destroy your machine slowly if you don't finish the race before it eats your health up. Thing is though, this appears to only be on a few maps with fire hazards, so that risk-reward only comes into play for a few tracks here. Aero GPX isn't easy, it still can be pretty difficult at times if you're not careful and paying attention, but there's a lot less risk of dying immediately like there is in F-Zero. I do think when it comes to these aspects, something that would really go a long way towards adding that same kind of risk-reward playstyle for this game is if you could go into a final burn stage once you lose all of your health too. That way players have to more intentionally use this to their advantage if they choose to, but it also gives less skilled players a big chance to come back if they end up losing all of their health. Especially when they can take advantage of some really great tracks. The course design in this game is pretty great. There really aren't any tracks I can even say are okay. They all range from good to really great. And just a little thing too, you know something else I really love in this game that I don't think enough people notice when it comes to futuristic arcade racers like this? Look at this. Actual pilots. Think about it for a second. When you think of F-Zero, what's the first thing that comes to mind? The Blue Falcon? Mute City? No. It's Captain Falcon. This is something that I think even the best futuristic racing games constantly don't get that makes F-Zero stand out. F-Zero has all these cool locales and machines, but they also have the charm and personality of a Nintendo game. So every single machine 
has its own palette with its own distinctive design. This is a small part of why I personally couldn't get into games like Wipeout or Redout growing up, and why I still saw even really good games similar to this like Fast RMX as inferior. Besides being more technical racing games than arcade ones, their focus was square on the racing and the machines. F-Zero always had that distinct in-your-face style to it thanks to this little touch. Aero GPX has that exact same touch too. I love, love, love the character designs in this game. Everything looks and sounds great too, the music is an absolute delight to the ears, and the cell shaded comic style graphics give it more of its own flair than it already had before. Man, I think what really impresses me most about this game besides, well, everything, is just how remarkably well polished and made it is for only being an early access game. Yes, there are absolutely some things that still need a little polish here and there, and some suggestions I think would go a long way towards making the game better, but the fact that this game is this good and this much fun in early access, and it was made by one guy no less, that's really impressive. For a game that wants to recreate the F-Zero niche, you bet your ass that's fucking impressive. So many games have come out over the years trying to fill that niche, but never really fully managed to figure it out. Fast RMX seemed to be the closest that we've had before, but Aero GPX, this is exactly what we want and need. It isn't the true GX successor or sequel we've always wanted, I'd actually argue it has more in common with F-Zero X on the 64, but it's also confident enough that it isn't afraid to do some of its own things too, like the focus on momentum-based speed instead of F-Zero opting to keep the pace constant. I've been waiting for a long time for a racing game like this, and knowing it's only early access and only gonna get better over time, <laughs> that really does excite me. I mean, imagine what all the other pilots are gonna play like, especially now that we have advanced stats for each character in a game like this, what the other tracks are gonna look and play like, what multiplayer will look like, maybe there's some potential for online multiplayer? I don't know how possible that is with a three-man team total, and of course I would never demand or expect it, but hey, I can dream of the possibilities. Nori Miller should be proud of the art they did for this game, Myron should be proud of the soundtrack they made for this game, and Aaron should be proud of the game he's managed to put out all by himself. This is already one of my favorite games to come out this year so far, and for only 20 bucks, it is well worth the price. I really hope this game gets strong word of mouth, and I hope by making a video like this that'll make the word of mouth even stronger for a game like this. Not just because of it being the first game to get F-Zero right in a really, really long time, but also for its own merits of just being a really well-made and well-polished indie game. In fact, you know what? What are you waiting for? Go out and play it. If you don't want to buy it, the game's got a demo, so just give it a shot. Or, you know, just spread the game out. Give the game some positive word of mouth. Or, you know, don't. I'm not your mom or your dad. Actually, you know what? This time I am BOY THE FUCKING GAME! Anyways, yeah, brief video. I just, I really, really, really wanted to talk about this game. Um, hopefully next video is gonna be another one of, like, the main series videos on the channel. Although I also don't mind doing smaller videos like this, so if you guys want to see more smaller form videos like this that aren't super in-depth and super edited or whatnot, let me know in the comments below. There have been a couple games I've been playing recently that, like, I don't want to make an entire analysis video like I have been with Call of Duty and Halo, but I still want to make something about them. So if you want to see more stuff like this, just let me know in the comments down below, and if you try out this game, tell me what you think of it. Oh, this game just makes me so happy. I'm so happy a game like this is out. Anyways, that's all I have to say. I'll see you guys in the next video.